Hi everybody, it's Grace, and um, I'm back after about four weeks being gone. I've had a little bit of stuff going on in life. My mother-in-law was in the hospital about a week. Um, I've been working on some secret projects that I haven't been able to show. Uh, if you watched my last video, you saw that I had made a twiddle muff, and I've gone to a couple of different nursing homes, and that twiddle muff now has a new home, and I have a new one to show you today. But before I do that, I want to um, talk about a friend of mine who, whose daughter is going to have surgery. She is in our crafting community. Uh, her name is Carmen, the, um, and her daughter is the one that's going to have surgery. She is not on YouTube, but she is on Instagram. She is, let's see if we can get that, needle underscore crafter zero two. And when, I want to read this to you because she put this on her post, and I may have to. I'm gonna have to take my glasses off to read it because I can see better with them off. Hi, my crafty community. The reason for the posting of bracelets of any item you might see in the near future is to raise, fun, raise funds and donate it to my daughter. She had open heart surgery six months ago, and unfortunately, did not re, it did not resolve the problem. She now needs a second open heart surgery to perform a heart HCM, which means that they're going to have to shave down part of the heart muscle. Um, in, in between the last surgery two weeks ago, she had a pacemaker uh, defibrillator put in place. That did not take care of the problem. So, unfortunately, the doctor says that. Um, She's in high risk and needed special care, special expertise on this um, surgery she's going to have to have. And she's going to be taken to the Mayo Hospital in Minnesota. And she's trying to raise donations to help fund this. Um, she said, if you can donate, that would be awesome contact her on Instagram but she's also making um, the surgery let me, let me finish reading this um, she has PayPal so she would, would be able to um, go through PayPal and she thanks you from the bottom of my heart Sur surgery is going to take place sometime between the first the last of August and the beginning of September prayer prayers welcome to much needed so Give Carmen some love. She has um, these. She had a couple of bracelets. Here's one. Let me put my glasses on because I can't see far away. And there's one like that. Um, she had. She has some really beautiful ones that she's making herself and selling. Um, but she's making different things. So. Look her up on Instagram and give her some love. Give her some, some support. I know uh, her daughter is married, has three young children, so they need all the help they can get. So we've got so many loving people in this community. If you're able to do anything, however little, that is, it would be just wonderful for her. And it gives her daughter Melissa something. It, it makes her feel good to know that people actually want to help her. The daughter is Melissa. So if you pray, uh, give, do prayers or thoughts or whatever, send some to Melissa. And her mom is Carmen. Okay. Um, I thank you for that. And I told Carmen I wanted to do, to, to, to let everybody know because some people know Carmen but don't know what's going on anyway let me go start next by showing you my second twiddle muff that I've made I have made this one and this one is quite different than the other one as you can tell different colors I have put a flower and there's a little ladybug button right there and I just crocheted a little square and put it together inside the square. You can hear that? Our, our bells and crinkle paper so that they would have something tactile and auditory, sensory. 
um, for those of you who don't know about the twiddle moths, they are for people who have Alzheimer's. It gives them something to fiddle with and people with dementia or anxiety even. But I also, on this one, I put these long ribbons. I attach them with this um, little frog button. And I put three so that it could be braided, if they want to braid it, or just stroke it. I have the fur so it can be stroked like if it was a pet. And I have the boa fur also. Um, on this back side, as you can see, I have a pocket. Again, I put another little pocket and I put a cap button on this one. And you just open it. And I made this pocket a little bit bigger, so you can put a little bit more in there. When I took the other one to the nursing home, they were thrilled to get it. They didn't have anything like it. Okay, here's another button that can be played with and twiddled with. I also put some little beads. I sewed each one on individually with thread and really put it on tightly. Um, this was a flower that I sewed on there. I have bobble, did bobble stitches on this side. And again on the inside, I put one of these balls inside it. And this one actually has a little face. But it's squeezable. And again, I put the little binder clip so that it can be taken off to be washed. Because again, everything's washable. So, they can use it, squeeze the ball inside, they can twiddle with the little things here, but I'm really enjoying designing it and trying to think of different things. Again, the inside is a, another tube that's been done so that it's smooth on the inside and just has that ball in there. So, this is Twiddle Moth number two, and it will be going to a new home shortly. I really am enjoying it, and if it can bring a person some a little bit of joy and satisfaction, that that will make me so happy. I'm going to show you a couple of, well, a few acquisitions I made. One is this sewing box. And I thought this was kind of neat for especially doing these twiddle moths. Because on the inside it has a tray where I could put buttons and things if I wanted to travel. But in the bottom... I can even stick my yarn in there. I could stick my twiddle muff down there, a little bit of yarn, put a few buttons, and there's a pouch here, there's a pin cushion right here, and I'm ready to go somewhere. So that is this one I got off of Amazon. I have another one also so that I'll have two to make different things. Um, I bought some of these types of beads to use on my twiddle muff. I'm just coming, trying to think of all the different things that I can for it. I bought this box on Amazon and you can carry it. And what's so cool about this is it's double sided. On this side I put all different kinds of thread so that I'll have different kinds to sew my little knickknacks on my twiddle muff. And on the other side, I have buttons, I have beads, just all kinds of things that I can put on my twiddle muff. So if I want to take my sewing kit, I could grab a few buttons, toss it in there. But I have some big buttons, all different shapes and sizes, the little frog buttons. I have different kinds of cats, all different kinds of cats. You saw a cat um, on the pocket of that one. And I have different dog buttons. I have other types of beads. Just anything I can find to make it more interesting. Here's another type of cat, if you can see it. Little butterfly. Anything to use to decorate my twiddle moths, but I also thought these would be good to put on hats, scarves, just anything. You can buy a packet of buttons like this. Not, It's not very expensive. It's on one side, it has the decoration, the other side's plain. Same thing with this. The button has the 
place to sew, but on the front is your little cat. And it has some little teddy bears. Just use your imagination. You can find buttons at Walmart, Joann's, Michael's, Hobby Lobby, any craft store that you can think of, you can look online. But I just love this case. I just happen to be, I got this off of Amazon. I think it was about $10. So I was kind of pleased with that. Um, I have some yarn that I'll show you the next time because I have made a few purchases. But I am so glad you joined me. And if you are so inclined and want to know more information on how to do one of these, just let me know. It, I'm just making this up as I go, and I'm loving it. I enjoy doing it. If you can crochet a tube, or you can even crochet it flat and make it into a tube, and just put different, whatever kinds of designs on there that you want, and it's, it you really uses your brain to help think of different things. But I even showed this to um, a friend I have at church, and she has... Alzheimer's dementia and she loved it hers hasn't gotten real it's starting to get a little worse but I want I would like it's my pastor's wife and I would like to do one for her um, but she also crochets and they say they can still crochet and do those kinds of things which I think is awesome now I told you about Carmen of needle um, underscore crafter oats zero two I want to tell you about another podcaster that I'm watching and it's yarn joy podcast yarn joy is one word a space and then podcast and she does some fantastic crochet she's all about crochet she does do some sewing but she mostly is showing her crochet I don't know how that girl gets those things worked up she Every week she has something, a lot of new things. <laughs> I think I must crochet in slow motion. I'm not that <laughs> fast. Um, I do spend a lot of time thinking about what I want to do in my total mass. And like I said, I do have a couple of things I'm doing that are secret. And I can't show on here as yet. And Anyway, I'm going to let you go. It's Friday today here in Texas. Hot. Oh, it's hot. Hopefully we're going to get some rain this weekend and cool things down. And I hope you have a fantastic weekend. Take care of yourself. Love you guys. Talk to you later. Bye.